heartbreaking. Hillary in hiding after her sickest secret yet was just pulled off her computer. The list of crimes that the Clintons have committed seems to be growing by the day, despite the constant denial. Between the deaths, money trails and constant disregard for the laws of the land, it's a wonder that Bill and Hillary are still out on the street. However, they seem to be employing the deny, deny, deny defense to any and all accusations. Even after multiple information leaks from WikiLeaks, Judicial Watch and others, Hillary is maintaining that she's done nothing wrong. The mantra of I did not have email relations with that server has grown old, and even the most staunch supporter has to wonder if she's really telling the truth. Even if she did it unintentionally, or Nate did it, or she thought it wouldn't matter, it would be better to get it out in the open and defend that than to carry on with the denial. The problem with this constant denial is that when it's proved that she was lying, as it's destined to be, as long as all the witnesses don't end up dead, she's going to have to account for the criminal activity and the lying. That's not slowing her down though, and according to the Gateway Pundit, the evidence is piling up against her. New information released by Judicial Watch has her dead to rights. Her time in the public eye is about to take a very disturbing turn, and America is thrilled about it. Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton took to YouTube Monday to report former Secretary of State and failed presidential candidate, Hillary Clinton, was hiding everything on her private email server. The everything, Fitton is referring to may hold the key to a plethora of scandals surrounding Clinton, everything from the FBI's handling of her email investigation to alleged pay-to-play scheme between the Clinton Foundation and State Department agencies. Fitton's latest video begs the question, why is the Trump State Department taking its sweet time to release the rest of Clinton's emails while she was Secretary of State? Releasing the documents will only further granulize Clinton's corrupt practices, lending even more evidence that the Justice Department must finally get serious about investigating Hillary. Fitton's latest report underscores an important and unfortunate reality, not enough attention is being paid to the original Clinton email scandal the missing 33,000 emails. In addition to Fitton's report, the New York Post's Paul Sperry argued last week that Clinton's 33,000 emails, which is Fitton hence, are housed on the private email server that is hiding everything, may not be missing after all. Sperry reported. In a May interview with FBI agents, an executive with the Denver contractor that maintained Clinton's private server revealed that an underling didn't bleach clean all her subpoenaed emails, just ones he stored in a data file he used to transfer the emails from the server to Clinton's aides, who in turn sorted them for delivery to Congress. The Platte River Network's executive, whose name was redacted from the interview report, said PR and tech Paul Cometa created a vehicle to transfer email files from the live mailboxes of. Clinton Executive Services Corporation, email accounts, and, then later used BleachBit software to shred the vehicle, but the email content still existed in the live email accounts. Clinton's missing personal emails may also be captured on a Google server. According to FBI notes, Cometa transferred all of the Clinton email content to a personal Google email address he created. Only the FBI never subpoenaed Google to find out. As the Gateway Pundit's Christina Layla reported, Judicial Watch announced last Thursday a federal judge ordered the State Department to speed up the release Hillary Clinton's 72,000 pages of email records. The records will be released September 28, 2018 rather than waiting until the year 2020. Court orders State Department to speed up production of Clinton email records. State Department must complete review and release of 72,000 pages of records by September 28. State wanted to wait until 2020 to release everything. Fitton tweeted. The fact of the matter is that the facts are there, the proof has been laid out. The question is, does anybody want to go after the Clintons? Do those in the Justice Department care enough about making sure that nobody ever tries to pull this kind of illegal? dangerous will ever arise again, that they'll go after them? The problem is that anyone who dares to take on the Clinton dynasty will have their career ended. Even if they're able to avoid the fate of Seth Rich, the Clintons will take them down so that they'll never do any good again. So yes, 
taking on Hillary in Washington would be a huge risk, but it's time that we require that risk of those in power. Because she made a stupid mistake, and we were lucky enough to find it. But if we let her get away with it, the next pants suit wearing monster will learn from her mistakes and we might not be lucky enough to find out what they are before it's too late. Late.